How's it going everyone? Well with Atlanta Excellence and today I'm going to show you my UberX car setup. So the first part of my setup, which uh, some drivers might not even think about, is yourself, the actual driver. And what I'm talking about in particular is how you dress. So you don't have to do anything fancy. Um, you don't have to, you know, wear a blazer. It's cold. I'm in, you know, Atlanta, Georgia in December. It's actually cold and wet right now. So and I just like wearing blazers. But I feel like if you dress professionally, you're going to feel professional and it's going to make your riders more comfortable and it's going to allow them to take you more seriously because it looks like you're taking it seriously. And I hope you are. And then, uh, you know, they mostly see the top. So I don't really wear, um, I'll wear khakis or jeans. I almost always wear jeans. And then shoes, you always want them to be comfortable, obviously. Um, I got some nice like slip-on dress shoes, work perfectly. All right, so that's the first part. Now let's see the actual items. My phone holder. This is an essential part to any rideshare driver, any driver in general, uh, in their setup. Now, this is an IOTI. I'll post a link in the description. And most of the items that I'm showing in this video, I bought off Amazon. They're fairly affordable, but if you're to buy any, this is in the top three for sure. Now, I don't know how it is in the other states, but here in Georgia, it's illegal to have any type of uh, phone holders or really anything that suctions onto the window. Um, I've never gotten a ticket. I've had them before, <clears throat> excuse me, but I don't want to take chances. And this, the positioning of this is just wonderful, you know. You never really take your eyes off the road, and it allows your passengers to see how your navigation is going. You know, a lot of times, um, passengers either behind me or next to me, they'll look at it, and they'll be like, oh, I see it's taking you this way. Can we actually go this way? And I love that. It takes the pressure off me, and, you know, if, if they were wrong, I don't look bad at all. They're just like, ah, oh, okay, I guess, I guess it, was, it was showing you the right way. So that's really good. Communication with your riders is key. All right, so actually I'm gonna move up. So sunglasses. Sunglasses are definitely a must. That's just common sense. And then this is one of the larger purchases. Now to all the riders watching this, I would highly recommend getting a dash cam or some video recording device uh, besides your phone because obviously you're gonna use that to drive. Now I want to say, first as a disclaimer, I'm not a legal entity that can give legal advice, so don't hold me accountable. And also do your research. I have done my research here in Georgia, as well as the research on the federal wiretapping law. Basically, you always want to ask for consent before you start recording. Now this Falcon is on right now, and once the screen loads, I'll show you how I set this up. I'll post a link to this as well. This is a more expensive purchase. This is about 150. All right, and looking right here, you can kind of barely see it. it. Looks like a little microphone symbol. There we go. The audio is off. I almost never have the audio on. Uh, and it also has night vision and day vision, which is awesome. I'll, I'll post a video describing it. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Uh, but something I do like, it has two cameras and they can swivel around. So, which is really important. Because at nighttime when I'm doing the driving, I will turn one of these around. And then basically, once a rider gets in, I'll ask them, hey, or I'll tell them, hey, I do use, uh, do you use a dash cam. I also use recording of audio and video for safety purposes. Is that okay with you? If they say no, um, which I've never really had, but if they say no, then it's up to you if you want to, you know, drive with them. I personally would, you know, apologize and say you're going to have to find another driver. Uh, obviously, I would do that after or before I've confirmed that I picked them up because then they can give you a low rating. But just always, always ask for consent. I think it's more polite to ask for permission as well. All right, moving on. This is also the car I'm driving. It's a 2013 Kia Optima. Uh, for the car in general, I would highly recommend this for any part-time drivers. But full-time drivers, I would look more into uh, either like a Honda Civic or a smaller four-door that doesn't take up too much gas. Uh, I average, average about 26, 27 combined instead of the 30 advertised, and the gas price is gonna be kinda high. <clears throat> but I will say the interior and the exterior are awesome. I get lots of compliments on it, which is great. And I also love how this has Sirius and Bluetooth. 
hands-free calling is very, very nice, and it looks very, very professional. You know, if you're constantly on your phone or, you know, having to pick up the phone and, you know, place it by your ear, that just looks very unprofessional. Also, when riders are calling you as you're arriving, you know, all I have to do is, you know, click these buttons and then I'm set. So there's that. All right, so moving further down, I always carry hand sanitizer. Uh, you can see I've been using it a lot. I think that's really important uh, for your passengers as well as for yourself. You know, you can have, if you're full time, you're going to have a thousand people in your car easily. So you want to stay healthy, especially with uh, the winter months. All right, so I want to talk about two items at the same time. I also have cough drops too. Um, I, I would recommend those, but that's not a must. All right, so let's talk about freshness. So I do have an air freshener. This, oh my God, this is like number two. Uh, I would say, you know, number one is obviously the phone besides yourself, but man, this is number two, especially if you're doing night driving, spray, 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 you're fresh to go. And then I also have a vape. Um, this is more for, you know, personal use, but if you're smoking, if you're looking for uh, an alternative, a healthier alternative, I would highly recommend this. I don't smoke. I use this because I'm kind of fidgety. I guess you could say I always have to be doing something. So this is really good when I'm either waiting in line for, or waiting in the airport, or you know, waiting for my passenger to arrive. Uh, it's also a good conversation piece. A lot of people, especially where I work, a lot of people do vape, and it's just like an automatic bonding conversation starter. It's really awesome. I will say though, to maintain professionalism, I would never vape with the passenger in my car unless they want to vape with me. Uh, I never ever use it with my passenger in my car. I think that looks very unprofessional and it can be kind of dangerous, especially when you blow a bunch of smoke and it, you know, gets up in your way. But I would highly recommend some type of air freshening device. All right, um, cough drops really aren't that essential, but uh, if I dig in my glove compartment, so you wanna have a pencil and a notebook or a notepad or something. Um, I use an app to track mileage, but every week I will write on my odometer where I start and at the end of the week I'll write what I finished that way I can see how many miles I've done for that week as well as keeping track of my tips. Um, that's a whole separate thing tax wise, uh, but I like to see how many tips I make per week kind of just to help me, you know, see what I did differently that helped me earn more tips. Uh, and I would recommend a pencil more than a pen. I love using pens. But if you're working somewhere really cold and you leave it overnight, there's a chance that that will freeze. Uh, pencil lead, the graphite that they use, that'll never freeze on you. So you're guaranteed to always have something to write. All right, so moving into this mess down here. So I have a bunch of chargers, which is a must. I know there's some videos that say you should not get a charger here in Atlanta and probably other, every other, pretty much, you know, everybody's on their phone. So everybody's gonna need a charger. Now this is my personal one. This is, I use a Android, so this is my personal one, and it you know just goes straight up into this holder right here. It's perfect. I also have an iPhone charger, which is this blue one, and then a Droid charger, which is this white one. And they're pretty long. They're about five feet, so they can reach back perfectly to where people need it. And this last one is an aux cord. This is definitely in the top five. Every time somebody gets in my car. After I ask them how they're doing, ask them an open-ended question, I'll always end it or keep talking with them, asking them if there's anything they'd like to listen to, let me know, and if they need the heat up or down, especially with it being wintertime. Basically, if they're comfortable with the current climate and if they want to listen to something. So I do carry a roll of paper towels over there. Uh, I would definitely carry uh, some type of disposable like wipes. I carry paper towels. Uh, something like that just in case you need to wipe down anything in your car or someone um, makes some type of mess it's always good to have those all right oh okay here's some more things so now that it's cold i use these gloves i would highly recommend getting gloves and also if you can see you can um use these with your phone so here on the thumb and on the index finger, you can actually touch your phone and use it just as if you were touching it with your regular fingers or irregular fingers, whatever kind of fingers you have. And then this orange thing here is a folder. I would highly recommend keeping a folder. I put all my receipts in there, uh, pretty much all my important stuff. Um, I forgot about this. Okay, I'll go over this too. And I forget where I got this, 
this is old and crusty as hell but this is a like a little safety all-inclusive car item I guess you could say I don't I don't even know what to call it but basically it's got a knife let's see if I can get this real quick it's got a knife in here so if your seatbelt ever jams on you you know like in those movies you see they get stuck and the trains coming you can just cut the seatbelt off here also right here and I'm afraid to use this thing but apparently you can jam this against the window as hard as you can and it shatters it so again if you're ever stuck um, you can use that and then yeah you can see the battery's dead this is a flashlight um, but it's definitely good to, I would just say like a pocket knife you'd be fine with that but if you find something like this I, w I would also recommend it you know because you never know and then going off on like pocket knives and things um, I'll probably make a separate video about like defensive things I would recommend uh, but that's my main line of defense right there is my dash cam and my brain when I use it all right <clears throat> Moving into the back. So, why do I have a first aid kit? This is an awesome conversation piece. People always ask, or always tell me, I'm the first Uber driver that they've ever seen with a first aid kit. And that just, you know, makes me smile, makes me feel good. And I've had to use this on several occasions. I had a little girl walking to, or running to my car. She tripped and fell. Uh, her mom and I, we helped patch her up. And uh, late at night, ladies will use these on their heels. Um, I don't know personally, but I would imagine walking into those things sucks and you know, it's like some extra padding for them and it looks really professional and it gives your passengers a good peace of mind. So I'd highly recommend that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So this is just a regular grocery bag. You can use, you know, pretty much whatever you want, but this is my trash bag right here. And I highly recommend having some type of trash bag in your car because people are always going to have stuff, especially if you have. Uh, items in your car that they can eat with wrappers, which I'll get to in a second. Um, they're going to want to throw it away somewhere. Uh, I also recommend having these bags for your late night drives uh, for passengers who might get sick. Or even during the day, I've had passengers who've gotten motion sickness um, and who, you know, need, need to use this for reasons I don't really want to talk about. Alright, um, so water. These are some unsung heroes right here. So, I would recommend getting the 8 ounce water bottles. They're super affordable. I just buy them in bulk from Costco, that's the Kirkland brand. And the reason I use 8 ounces is because, honestly, if you think about it, for Uber X drivers, our passengers really aren't traveling that far. Even to the airport, like from where I am, it's about 30 minutes. And if they're really thirsty, they can have, you know, both of them. They love that. I remember when I was riding around, this was like the number one item I wish I had when I got in an Uber. And then, Gum and mints. These are awesome. I use Double Bubble. It's a good little throwback. People love that. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can get like New 5 or something like that. Um, and then mints. You know, probably as December's coming, I'm not, it is December. As Christmas is coming, I might, you know, get colorful with red and green. But having those, awesome. Get you that five star rating. All right, so my next recommendation is keeping a bag in your trunk. Now this bag is a little big, but it is extremely flexible. I would not recommend putting any of your essential items in a bag that's, or like in a tub or something that can't fold up, because I can, I can put all kinds of stuff on this and it's not gonna break it or take up too much space. So, what do I keep in here? Pretty much everything I need to clean my car. So, highly recommend some type of battery powered cordless car vacuum. Uh, this is a Black & Decker. I'll put a link again in the description. I think this one was more expensive, it was around 45, 50 bucks. But it's super easy to clean, the battery life is really long, I basically charge it every night. And then it comes with these bristles, which is great for getting all that hair. Now, something you might wanna get that would even replace that is this, the lint roller. Oh my goodness. If you don't have this, get it. It's so easy to clean your car with this. I clean the seats, I clean the floor mats, I clean everything. Get this. All right. Uh, also, carrying, this is just watered down Windex and an old bottle I had. But this is really good, especially now when it's raining. You want to get all that residue off, keep your car looking nice. 
uh, it's good to have some type of Windex or something that'll help you um, keep your windows looking nice. Uh, <laughs> that's for me. Or if you want to get a frisbee, you can, but I don't recommend it. Uh, I also keep a safety cone. Um, I haven't had to use it yet, thank goodness, but heaven forbid if I get in an accident and you know, you're know you in a bunch of traffic, you can place that behind your car for some extra safety. <clears throat> and then also, highly, highly recommend getting microfiber towels. These are so important for cleaning just everything. And you know, I would recommend washing them about once a week to keep them fresh so they don't stink up or anything. And then keep extra water in here, extra gum and mints. And then I would also recommend keeping some kind of funnels. Um, the only thing I've really had to use this for is windshield wiper fluid, but it just makes life easier whenever you have to do something with it. <clears throat> All right, okay, that's pretty much it. Guys, well that pretty much concludes uh, my simple setup. Um, again, I'm an Uber X driver, so if you're uh, on a higher tier, you might have different things. Um, maybe like magazines for Uber Select, Uber Black, Uber XUV, uh, things like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked the video. I hope this helps you guys out a lot. And oh, I did forget one item. It's actually right here by my feet. Um, an umbrella. Get an umbrella. Enough said. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> if you like this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe if I missed anything or if you guys know of anything else that you think is essential for drivers to have, uh, post it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. love to just share the information with all of you guys. Cool. All right. Well, as always, take care. Drive safe, guys.